Thank you. Um, I'm from Arizona. So when Sandra said there's a spring storm, I thought, oh, good. You know, a couple of inches of rain, no problem. This will be great. And so uh, Brett and I arrived at the airport. <laughs> We're in, like, Arizona shirts and jeans and shoes with no socks, right? That was great. And then we get in the cab, and it's snowing. And it took us an hour and 26 minutes. And, and we were like kind of on our phones going, okay, the hotel should only be right there. And then, you know, so it was a very fun experience. I teased Sandra and Jean to leave 78 degrees and come as how much we love you all today. So um, I did want to kind of get a chance to introduce Mr. Tanner, who's going to be our guest speaker today. And um, I've known uh, Brett for um, uh, a little over six years. He's a business partner of our firm across our entire network. So he speaks for us nationally, and I say for us, really, it, it allows us to help our stakeholders and partners, people like yourselves, that would like to try to figure out how we do we do just a little bit better. And I won't steal all his thunder, but when we met, uh, he was a young man who was um, very intelligent, obviously, but he was um, one of those guys who just wanted to learn. So we had a mastermind group that we started. We had 27 of the top 30 agents in our state join it, and somehow Hammerhead here wiggles his way into this thing, because he wasn't in the top 27 at the time. And at every meeting he had, he took the most notes, he was engaged in the most questions, and then he'd ask people in the meeting, hey, can I follow up and spend an hour with you in your business? Can I spend an hour with you in your business? And I told somebody, this guy is committed to getting better. In 2011, he was our number one partner across the United States. He did 657 transactions in one year. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, importantly, um, I would, and I'll let him espouse, but we were a pretty large stakeholder in his business because we helped him engage with national products, best practices, how to apply those products to get a better result. We were part of that. And so Brett's allowed us to kind of learn with him and him with us. So today, um, when the market shifted in Arizona, um, Brett had already started moving his business. So this year, for example, in the month of March, he closed 118 transactions in one month. And that is dramatically different business than he was doing a year ago. So when it was REO in Arizona, he was in REO. When it moved to short sale, he was in short sale. When it became equity and how to get listings, now he's in that. So the nice thing is when markets shift, all of us, we've got to try to head that way too quickly because the consumer's always about nine months behind us. I can't tell you how many people, even today, I live in Arizona, when you go to a barbecue on a Sunday, they go, oh, I'm in real estate, I'm a business to business partner. They go, oh, you're in real estate, I'm sorry, how's that going? And you're like, well, prices are up 32% in the last six months. Really? You know, they don't know, guys. They don't know what has happened. So part of our job today is how do we educate them just a little better and help give them some knowledge and some advice. And Mr. Tanner is going to speak to that. Um, but lastly, before he comes up and goes through it, we want to make sure everything you're going to see today is available to you. If you'd like a copy of the postcards he's actually used with the best messages get the best results, you can have those. You get those from your sales executives. And Brett, we won't mention the 18th hole yesterday before we got here where you, yeah. So Brett bought dinner last night because his 18th hole was not very good in Arizona. So without any further ado, Mr. Brett Tanner. Wow, thanks for that introduction, Steve. And so thanks so much for Chicago title, Sandra Jean. Thank you for putting this on. I'm standing right in the way of the projector. Um, I have to be honest, I'm not really prepared. I thought this was a photo shoot for new photos for business cards for agents. So... Um, Anyway, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, how I think you could double your business this year. If we like take that perspective and let's kind of talk about that for the next 30 to 40 minutes. I may even bounce a couple questions off our panels as we go through this, if they'll indulge me with that. So, um, quick about me, Steve kind of went through it. You know, we've, uh, we've had a good team and I, and I want to credit some of that success, a huge part of that success to our good partners. You're looking for that niche. You're away from the herd. There's more opportunity in a niche. There's less competition. And if you want to double your business, you've got to start doing something a little different away from the regular retail piece. So if you're getting out there with these cards saying, hey, it sold at you know, 285,000, 102% of list price, it's a very good news message that's coming out. If every card looks like you spend time on that particular card. Second, if you use the tools and you use the, you know, what the resources you have, you can get so much more out of it. Good. This year, 
There are five firms scheduled and all will go public with $30.2 billion of funding to purchase residential real estate. You know, big Wall Street's figuring out that residential real estate is now an asset class. And I'm telling you, this is a five to eight year shelf life and it will be, you think REO was away? You think short sale was away? This has more money than it ever had in it trying to get into our market. We've got to embrace the understanding of that. Does that make sense?